Hello and welcome to my Terra Corner. So in today's BS detector reading, I'm going to check the claim that uh, the Harkos sent a private congratulation message to the Queen. Uh, everyone knows that last week the Queen celebrated her ascension to the throne, so that was the beginning of the celebration of her Platinum Jubilee. And uh, she got congratulations from all over the world, but there was no official congratulation from Harry and Meghan. So then there was the claim that they did send the congratulation, but it was made privately. Now, the palace did not contradict that a statement, uh, which is a, a little bit uh, contrasting to the, the change of policy in everything that regards Harry and Meghan, which uh, they said after uh, Elizabeth was born that they are going to uh, debunk every uh, statement that is false. They did not, so the question is whether or not they did send a congratulation uh, uh, to the Queen for her Platinum Jubilee. This is the legend tarot, another one of those tarot decks that is only depicting the major arcana, but it is very, very different from uh, the right away and from other uh, decks. Uh, it is all about legendary uh, creatures, and uh, I do have more uh, tarot decks that are uh, the dragon tarot deck, for example. Uh, there are many, many tarot decks that are depicting legendary uh, creatures. So this is one of them. So let's see what does the BS detector tell us about uh, Harry and Meghan uh, uh, um, sending um, a congratulation privately to the Queen. So first I'm going to clear the deck. And now let's start with asking, so what is the truth around Harry and Meghan sending a private congratulation to the Queen for her Platinum Jubilee? Did Harry and Meghan really send a private message to the Queen about for her Platinum Jubilee? What is the truth around the claim that Harry and Meghan sent a, re a message to the Queen for her Platinum Jubilee. So let's cut the deck and start the question. So the first card is always is the card that depicting the question, the problem, and we get the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is a no answer because this is a card that speaks about overload. So this was a, an overload for Harry and Meghan. This was too much for them to bear. This is <clears throat> this card is a card of warning that uh, actually tells them do not take too much upon yourself. It is also a warning for the queen. Do not expect too much. Uh, but this card is a card of someone who is overloaded and has too much upon himself. And uh, this only shows me that uh, sending this message for the queen was too much for them. This is what this card is actually telling us. And what is the lie? So what is the lie in this statement? And we get the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is a card of doing the right thing. So the lie 
is that they did the right thing. The lie is that they were following the Hierophant's um, a message, which is do the right thing. And they did not do the right thing. They did not send that message. And this is exactly what uh, the lie detector is telling us, uh, that uh, this is the lie. The lie is that they did the right thing and sent a congratulation, a, a congratulation message to the queen. This is the lie. So what is the truth? What is the truth? And the truth is the King of Cups. And I get the King of Cups with Harry all the time because the King of Cups is the deprived king. He is the one who whines all the time that he is uh, not uh, uh, getting what he deserves. He's the one who is motivated by a need for emotional stability. He is the one who uh, still has this connection to his mother and find it hard to detach from his mother. This is a person that uh, is uh, slow, he's lazy, uh, he is uh, abstaining from things. So this is the truth. The truth is that Harry is that deprived person that who feels that he was wronged, who feels that he uh, is a victim, and this is the truth behind everything, and he, this is a, a, a person that has tendency to get offended very easily, and a person who holds a grudge. So, uh, he did not send a message to the queen, this is uh, the truth. The truth is that he still feels like a deprived person, he still feels that he was wronged. So this is the truth. So what is the solution for this? And the solution is the Knave of Pentacles. The Knave of Pentacles, it's like the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is the clerk. And the clerk is the person that is very good about work, uh, someone who is uh, very pedantic, very orderly, very organized, but also uh, has a problem with changes. He is stubborn, he is uh, keeping books, let's say that that way. So as a solution, this card actually tells uh, Harry, you need to start worrying about the work that you're doing, you need to be ordered, you need to be organized, and stop that cowardly behavior. Stop being so stubborn. Stop keeping books and keeping uh, uh, scores of who wronged you. Uh, this uh, card actually is talking about someone who is afraid of change. So he needs to start doing the opposite. He needs to uh, embrace the change, embrace the fact that he cannot be uh, in the royal family what he thought he would be. And uh, he needs to stop being uh, so obstinate. He needs to stop keeping books and stop keeping scores of who did him what. So this is what the solution is to his problem. Uh, this is something that uh, um, will help him to get over this overload. If he starts acting like the good sides of the, of the, of the page of pentacles and not the bad sides of it, he needs to start ta uh, act taking the good um, properties of the Page of Pentacles, which are uh, being someone who is very good with work, someone who is very orderly, someone who is very organized, and stop taking all of the bad aspects of the Page of Pentacles and stop 
whining, stop saying that you are deprived, that you are wrong, that you were um, uh, treated badly. So this is what the BS detector is telling me about, uh, about this question. So the answer is that they did not send a message to the queen. That is a definite answer. And the oracle is a mini deck of oracle that is called Through the Eyes and Soul. So let's see what kind of message can we get here about Prince Harry's feelings. So I'm cleaning the deck. And Prince Harry's feelings, Prince Harry's feelings towards his grandmother, Prince Harry's feelings towards his grandmother, Prince, wait, Prince Harry's feelings towards his grandmother. Let's see what we get. I just love those mini decks because they are just perfect for my hand. And I get love with an open heart so this is what he needs to embrace to love with an open heart to start uh, uh, opening his heart uh, to the messages that he's getting from his family that they are they do want him back and we saw we saw that in my previous uh, reading about uh, prince uh, uh, prince charles he needs to start loving with an open heart. This is another card that tells us that he needs to stop uh, making scores and stop uh, thinking about all of the things that he was wronged about. And the next card here is, wait a minute. Magic is alive, ask your divine child. Okay, so magic is alive, uh, ask your divine child. This card actually is something that I am looking for in the book right now. Wait a minute. This is something that I'm not sure about the message, so I'm going to look for it. Okay, so this is what the book has to say about this card. Ask your questions with a sense of light-heartedness. Adopt the unhindered enthusiasm of youth to open the free flow of ideas and answers from your guides and guardians. Keep your childlike wonders and imagination active while living in the world dream so what this card actually tells is tells harry is to uh, start acting with light heartedness to uh, adopt the uh, the youth of uh, his, uh, his uh, the enthusiasm of his youth what he used to be enthusiastic about and to open to free flow of ideas and answers so this card actually tells him to be more light-hearted to keep his childlike wonders and imagination to go back to the way that he used to be the 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 person that is enthusiastic about things, the person who thinks about how we can make things happen. And you know that a, a video surfaced uh, uh, these, a few days ago about uh, how Harry started his Santa Valley uh, Foundation and how he was enthusiastic about it when he was in uh, in Africa. This card actually tells him to find his, that uh, spirit, to find his uh, uh, previous 
uh, ways of uh, thinking, his previous uh, enthusiasm, and start dreaming and start acting. So both of these cards are telling uh, Prince Harry to stop acting like a deprived person, to stop acting as if he's uh, is a, a as if he's a, a victim and s go back to the way he wa used to be. The, both of these cards are telling uh, Harry to go back to the way he used to be. Will he take that advice? That's a very good question. I don't know. So I hope you liked it and if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.